Matt 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventurers explored more of the prison camp in the depths and killed a bunch of killed a couple more Balzao and an Oblex. And at the moment they don't see any more Balzao or any other enemies around them. They also created a cave-in in both the entrance tunnel to this prison camp and also the tunnel to the Fardana's cabins or barracks. They have regrouped with Borknork and the Dragonborn, who they saved from the other prison, and they had managed to kill Balazau, Bulazau as well. And yeah, so all of them have regrouped and are, I think, planning on going down to the next layers of this prison camp slave mine thing. So are you just going down the ladders or do you want to do anything else first? Uh, I I think there's nothing else for us to do besides get going as quick as possible. Yep. So I think this is our best chance to not die. Okay. So as you go down the more of these layers, you see that that there are prisoners who are carry either uh at pulleys that are carrying up a lo- loads of rocks, or even sometimes dead bodies, and then there are some that are going down ladders to help out with the actual mine or coming up to help out with move, moving other stuff or just or bring more explosives down down or stuff like that but you don't see any enemies on this floor uh seems like time for us to uh start the revolution see if we can't get some of these people on you our do side. see that this layer is about uh, 30 feet wide, and then on one side is, of course, the cliff that you cl- climbed from, and the other layer, I mean, the other side goes down to the next layer in this gigantic mine. And to go to- down that layer is about 100 feet. And it's too dark and too far to actually see the next next layer after that. And this layer that you just climbed to is about... Uh, 75 feet from the last layer, like height-wise. And every once in a while, you do also see a dead body as you look around, and about every second time you see that, there's an Oblex spawn uh, eating away at it. Might as well try and look for the next ladder. Okay. Yeah, you're easily able to find the next ladder. It's only, like, uh, 40 feet away from you. And, yeah, you're able to go down it. How many people are on that level that we were just on? So on the layer that you just got to, or the one that you were on for most of the other time? The layer before. Okay, so, like, the main layer that you're fighting on before, right? Or, no, yeah, one layer down. It's oh, one layer down? Yeah. Uh, you... You counted probably around uh, 300, no, probably, well, you can't see all the way around in all places, but in the area you're in, you're able to see about uh, 40 of them. Okay. Most of them are along the edges of the cliff, uh, either bringing up the boulders or the dead, or... Sending down more explosives or pickaxes or stuff like that. So I feel like since the the pit is so big, I feel like our team should split into two, send half of them to the other side so they can get all the the slaves on that side and corral them down, and then the half on this side can corral them down on this side. Otherwise, we'd have to go down the ladder, take everyone we can find, and then go back up to get everybody else. I like that plan. Cool. So how should we split it? Uh, I'm a one-man army. Yeah. Uh, let's so send try... Blaze by himself and the rest of us go stay no. here? Uh, we should be logical. Uh, yeah. we, so, we should be uh, logical. I, uh, I'm i a close range fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tal and 
uh, Lazarus are both ranged, so they should be in two separate groups. Yeah, and I'm close range, kind of, but I can also do a little bit of distance. Yeah, okay, and I'm, like, exclusively close range, so... So I'll take Lazarus and... Or just Lazarus, I guess, and then you three go together. How's that And we can say that Farron's here, too. Oh, I forgot Uh, about him. Should we... (laughs) Are we going to be responsible for the death of Sebastian's character? So I feel like one team should be... uh, Like, we should separate Blaze and Ryan, because they're both kind of close range. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Me and Alien Dahl, we're kind of the same, so we should be in Mixed. separate. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then Farron and Tal are both your ma- uh, magic users, so they should be in separate. Okay, I'll take uh, I'll take uh, uh, Farron and Farron. Lazarus. Fuck you. I don't Farron's think... coming with me. Why? Because we're friends. That's yeah. That's fair. I feel like Farron would have went with Ryan. Yeah. Okay, but also Farron and I also had a bonding experience traveling through the north. Yeah, but okay, I sat yeah, with him at a campfire Farron, one yeah. night, so. That's fine. I whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Lazarus, you want to come with us too, or? Sure. I just yeah. said I was gonna. Oh, my oh sorry. God. Did I just put your whole just, team? <laughs> no, you literally just spat in my face and took both people I said I was gonna take. So that's cool. That's sorry. cool. Nope. Tal and I don't know what it is. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh no, that's fine. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> Don't Let's worry, go, Tal- Arendelle. Come on, Tal. Tal you can do guys. all your damage for you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you split up the party, and you're able to just start corralling people, like all of the prisoners, into the areas that you're in. And eventually, you think you have everyone on this layer. It takes probably around 10 minutes to get everyone, since it's a very large place. And so you're just telling them all to come down with with you? Yeah, might as well. Okay, uh, one of them will also say, actually Borknuk should have said this a while ago when you guys were discussing plans, but you'll say that there's a, there's the actual prison area to the northwest of the entire mine, really. So I feel like once we get these guys out, we go back to the prison. Remember, we've only got 40 until that wall comes down and they come looking for us. I fucking hate this place. (laughs) It's at least six people rescuing a fucking, like, thousands. This is fun. Yeah. Yeah, you're literally rescuing cities of people. This is ridiculous. Well. Yeah, it's okay. Blaze is just selfish. Yeah, I know. So you're going down to the next layer? Yeah. So you go down this long 100-foot ladder with all the other prisoners. And from here, you are able to actually just... As you look over the edge of this new uh, layer, you're able to see what's down below. And it's uh, it's about a four... Just under 400 feet deep, this next layer. And you can every once in a while just see what's down there from the flashes of dynamite or flashes of other explosives and of fire. And through these flashes of light, you're able to see that there's a uh, her- Hezrao in the very center of the room. And it's kind of just making sure that all of the other people, all of the prisoners down here are doing their job, which is to mine further down. And whether that's from explosives or pickaxes or just having people run the debris back up up the layers. Okay. And they don't... No, no. And it doesn't seem like they're actually looking specifically for anything else they mine. They're just, like, clearing space out, or...? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. They don't seem to be taking any precautions of any kind. Interesting. I wonder why they're down here. I wonder why the 
Shardana wanted them here in the first place. Should we just use our longbows and shoot at the demon from up here? Is he below us? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he can't reach us from here. Uh, unless, I don't know, unless we think he's going to go on a rampage and start killing innocents, but... That's kind of what I was thinking, too. How how far down is this, dude? Uh, it's like 400 feet down. It's super low. Mm, I could make that jump. <laughs> I mean, I did it last time. No, it wasn't 400 That feet wasn't down. anywhere oh, near 400 feet. Okay. That is, is there like a body of water nearby? Or perhaps no. an inflatable pool? There is an inflatable pool, you know? <laughs> Dope. Well, if I aim for that, if there's one thing Disney taught me is as long as I aim for that, I'll be fine. Do you have a bucket of Maybe water? a pool of blood. Have we split up already? If, as long as it's a liquid, you know, I should be fine. Yeah, everyone okay. has split up into the two groups, okay. and you rounded all up all the prisoners from that second layer, and are now down on the okay. third layer. Unless there's something else you guys wanted to do. Not really. I mean, let's let's fucking let's do it. Let's just go. Let's go. If we have a bucket of water, we can safely drop down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or we can make like a human ladder. I feel like we should leave the prisoners on this level. We should go down and deal with the demon. Yeah. And then call them down. Yeah. I, I don't like the idea of having hundreds of prisoners like swarming down the ladder to get to a portal in the bottom, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Hundreds? What, what do you mean? Well, I mean, we've got everybody on this level rounded up. Or, yeah. But we only just have get one the people portal. from the yeah. Get the people from the bottom level to come up to this one mm -hmm. and create the portal up here. So you don't like people, hundreds of people going down the ladder, but you're totally fine with hundreds of people coming up the ladder. I mean... Well, th there's just, like, there's enemies in the pit. So this... So at least people would be moving I mean, farther away from the hostiles. Yeah, but I mean, like, there's no way that's that so demon cool. down there is going to be like, okay, cool, all of you go up the ladder, well, file one yeah, by and one, and then once you're all up, I'll start attacking. Then we're going to oh, we'll have to keep him busy and or kill him outright. While people are moving. Well, then why don't we split up into evacuation team and attack team? Maybe we can send Borknork again. Borknork, distract that guard. <laughs> Get him to evacuate. Borknork, go kill yourself <laughs> no, once. I'm just kidding. I didn't actually say that. Um, Thank you, John. No, we we go attack. Okay, how about the range people stay up here, the melee people go downstairs, and we'll start funneling people out somehow. I mean... It's still 400 feet. Yeah, you're right. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, like, range is still going to be put them at disadvantage. Uh, DM, um, this stone that yeah. I've got, is it identical in every way to the last stone we've got? Would I know roughly? Would I be able to make an educated guess on how it works? Uh, it does look similar, not exactly the same. Didn't I roll an arcana check and figured it was the same? I don't know. Can't remember. Pretty sure, pretty sure I did. It's not exactly the same. But so I don't have any guarantees that once it's open, it's going to stay open long enough for everybody to get out. You assume that it. You you would probably assume that if it's a similar stone to the stone that is used uh, against the well when the Shardana attacked of branches, you would assume that it stays open a fair okay. amount of time. But. It's like a one time per day. The last one was like one one use per day, right? Uh, the last one was, okay. I think, yeah. So we have a decision here. We can either open the portal here on the second level, where we're kind of unmolested right now, or we can open it on the third level. But there's also the people in the prison. And it is once per day. Like when you notice the other one, it is once per day in both directions. Yeah, but I mean, we don't really need it to go both directions right now. It'd be a once per day thing. True. This is an ambitious project yeah. we've taken on. So, we save the... <laughs> we should just kill all the demons. Just kill all the demons, and then we can spend three days in here evacuating people. 
Well, we've got forty minutes. I mean, at this point, at this point, we have we have no other choice because it'd be like, oh, cool, we killed some of the demons. Now let's get rid of as many people as we can, and then just chill for a day. Like, no, there's gonna be more demons that are gonna come kill us. We should just kill everyone here, and then send everyone out over a course of a couple days. Wait. Otherwise, we're fucked repeatedly. We might as well just get well, it over with. We if do we think we can take out all the demons sometime in we, the next forty minutes before the Shardana get through? And start attacking We us. don't have a choice? Yeah, okay. Bottom line, we save as many people as we can. Can we get reinforcements from <laughs> yeah, no. Everybody's yeah. down here already. The portal works both ways? Listen, Tal, you haven't been here this long. We're fucking screwed, okay? That's the generic, like, <laughs> You really line should not have come here. with us. Fucking screwed. I, I mean, it's better than the... The like cave, little true, space yeah, I was in. not really. <laughs> well, uh, at least you were alive, at least you would have then. died of starvation. Okay, you could have lived okay. like an extra day, so, you know. <laughs> there's like there, there's way more prisoners on the bottom level than the middle level, right? Yep, okay, yeah. On so, the layer that you're on, they're probably around uh about 200. So yeah. it might be better to have everyone go down below because then we also have to search the prison, yes. Sorry, my mistake. There are probably around 500 people on this layer. Okay. To save the most lives, we should probably go down there, open up the portal. We'll have people running through as fast as they can get through, and we'll occupy the guards. Hopefully, we won't die. Hopefully. Do we only else see will die. the one demon down there? The. Yep. Hey, does anyone have the spell hallucinatory terrain? Wouldn't that be nice? Does anybody have a spell? One spell. A singular yes. spell. I've got... <laughs> I have a <laughs> single uh, first level spell slot left. Sick. No, I don't have a single I, spell. I, I should, Yikes. but I do not. Fucking god, bro. Okay. okay. Alright. I think our best bet is to just go down there. We'll have the prisoners follow us and open up the portal, and we'll keep the guards occupied as long as. And then we stay in here for another day until, like, what's the plan for the prison? (laughs) I don't know. We're in the most fucked situation ever. At this point, we do what we can. We have this portal. Like I said, we. We have no choice. We have to kill these demons because yeah. it, it, there's no, there's nothing else we yeah. can do, like, at we'll all. We'll save as many people as we can. If we survive, we can leave through the portal and then come back in 24 hours and hopefully, you know, not yeah. everybody is dead. You know, I feel like we do that. Yeah. There'll be some reprimands. Yeah, I know. It's not ideal, here. but this whole situation is kind of fucked. We're going to have to make some sacrifices somewhere. I mean, I'm totally fine ditching on, like, some of them, but... I'm less so. But we do what we can. Either way, uh, me being alone with uh, Tal and uh, Aylerndale, I'll be like, here's the plan, guys. We're going to go down there and just try and distract and kill as many demons as we can, okay? <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, we're gonna go down right there. Now. You, we're the we're the badasses, guys. Okay, listen. You look at me. Look at me in my cat eyes. All right, we're the two, the three toughest fucking guys in the group. Okay, we're gonna go down there. We're gonna fuck that demon up. How's that sound? Yeah, I, I already. <laughs> yeah, knew exactly. That. Right. So, like, you guys, you guys want to go fight a, a big like f- demon frog like looking demon? How thing? big is that demon, by the way? Uh, it is a large. Would any demon. of us know okay. like. The capabilities of this thing. Do like have any of us ran into one of these before? Uh, you probably haven't ran into them. There's the possibility that you may have read or heard something about them. So just roll a history okay. check. I got I'm a nat twenty. I can roll one. Yeah. Oh, nat twenty. Nat 20. Nice. Fuck. <laughs> I got a nineteen. Okay. God damn. Well, I rolled nine. Okay. Holy fuck. I have plus ten, dude. That's dope. Uh, so... This is my fucking character. <laughs> Blaze, you know that this is a large demon, and that... Uh, that they're quite strong, and they're, like, large, and... Uh... 
I don't know if there's any more that you would know. Oh, you do know that they smell terribly. And then... Um, Lazarus, you know that you know all that as well. And you know that their bites and claws are not nice at all to get hit with. And that they are immune to poison. You're not sure about any resistances or anything like that. But you know that they're immune to poison. I'll relay that to... I guess the two people close by. So Ryan and Farron. Tal also got a 20. Oh, a nat 20? Yep. Okay, so... Tal, uh, you were just looking at a random book that at one point was in the orphanage you used to be at. And it had a picture of one of these on it. And you saw fire all around it and it just oh. like chilling in fire. Oh. Okay. There was a picture it, it, of a demon at an orphanage? Yeah. It was some, some weird book. What the fuck? Oh, in a book. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like a portrait on no. the wall. Okay, <laughs> no. never mind. And even though it was chilling in the fire, it didn't seem happy about it. Oh. Okay. So, most likely resistant to it. Not immune, but. Alright. And shortly after you saw that book, that book was taken away and burned. Oh. Where the fuck did you grow up again? Still to be. Um. (laughs) Your parents are book burners. He was at an orphanage, dude. Yeah, they're uh, they're dead. You're not parents or book burners. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lazarus. Uh, Thanks. So so we go down and launch an assault. Open up the portal. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess I'm. I'll lead the away. way. I'm gonna stealthily slide down the ladder. Okay. Why did we split up okay. again? To collect the prisoners. Rescue prisoners. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Okay, ready, Tal? Ready, so, Aaron Dale? Let's fucking do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, I, I feel like Borknork would probably go down with you, too. I, well, Borknork, you're you're seriously injured, aren't you? I can help out where I can help out. I prefer you not come, though. Like, you're pretty bad shape, man. Yeah, I mean... I feel like... He should watch over the prison. Like, I appreciate the bravo. Your friends yeah. will be in worse shape. I appreciate the bravado, but... They like, don't get any help. I... Ah, I appreciate the bravado, but, like, you're gonna... Like, we're already probably gonna die, so I don't feel comfortable letting you come and also die. <laughs> Just my choice. I shall go down with them. Okay. Yeah, Have fun, I guess. All yeah. right. Love to die by my words. Ryan is the same. Alright, we're fucked. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, going down is Ryan, Lazarus, and Blaze. And Borknark. I think everyone yes. should go down. Or at least... Uh, yeah. Maybe everyone except one. I don't know. How many spell slots does... Well, let, let's all go down, and we'll bring all the prisoners down with us to the portal. Yeah, we we just take the lead, and then they come down, too. Yeah, yeah tell them to wait, like, sense. two minutes. Okay. I'm gonna go down. So you gathered all of the people from this area, too, then, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, at this point, everyone, while when you look down you do see that the that because there aren't any more uh pulleys being brought up with like to- tons of rocks rubble and stuff like that you see that the hazrao is now attacking people oh shit let's go oh, cool all right yeah uh 10 4 okay uh so since this is a very long ladder it does take a few minutes to actually get down there 
Um, uh, as soon as I'm within a hundred feet of it, since we're up higher, um, you guys think I should lightning bolt it? It's yes. my last third level. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna dummy this, this idiot. Is the big guy. Okay. Uh, it's got to make a dex save. Wait, you're casting fireball on it? Lightning bolt. Oh, okay. I thought you said fireball. I was like, oh, so the prisoners will all die. But yeah. <laughs> no, this is a uh, twenty foot radius. Everybody. Hundred foot awesome. line, okay. five feet wide. So I think I can just hit him. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, and you said a dexterity save yeah. through. Okay. He got a seventeen. Damn it. In total. Well, he still takes half. Um. Uh, it's 8d6. 8. Oh, this is a lot of dice. Everybody just listen to that. Um, it's 21. But since... So it's only 11 damage. Okay. Shoot. That could have been better. It also doesn't seem to actually take... It doesn't seem to hurt this guy much anyways. Wow. Damn it. How wide is this well, uh, pit? From like ladder to ladder. For uh since it's kinda of like a oblong pit, it'd be probably about a hundred feet wide. Go but like north south by 500 wide. Okay. Where is this demon exactly? Is like he's he close to one of the ladders? Uh, right now he would be close to one of them. Yeah, let's say to the southwest one because it was just attacking one of the prisoners who couldn't really do anything about the police being brought up. Okay. I'm assuming that's the one that Ryan, Farron, and I are going down? Sure. I think. Yeah, because Blaze went to the other side. Okay. Uh, once I reach about 40 feet from the ground, I'm going to jump off and plunge into him with my two longswords. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to roll for that? Uh, I'd say roll in acrobatics, I think. I, or acrobatics or athletics, since you're aiming for him. Okay. I got a 16. Yeah, that hits. And do you want me to roll to like, hit or something, or was that just... Uh, yeah, that is to actually aim and make sure you're above him the right distance. So just roll to it now. That would be a 15 and a 17. The 17 hits. Okay. So as you try to plunge your first sword into him, it kind of just glances off its the its kind of bubbling skin. Yeah, what does this guy look like? Yeah, uh, I can quickly send a picture of it into the chat. Yeah. I rolled an 8 on my wild magic search. Okay, you're good. Well, that's a shitty picture, actually. Whatever. You get the gist. Uh oh. Also, the stats might be included. Yeah, they are. Ah, close enough. But it's it's too bad of a picture that you yeah. can't read. Yeah, uh, I can't. I can't. There's a giant glare. Yeah, I can't, I can't read them. It. Wow, he is a fucking ugly bitch. Look at that so, mouth. Holy. I fuck. just I just I just googled him that. and he looked. That's why I said frog thing earlier. Oh uh, yeah. It's a fucking creepy looking thing. Would it be possible? Like with my one sword that actually connected, would I be able to hang off the back of him? Yeah, I think so. And I'd say for damage, you can actually roll double damage. Okay. For this one hit, just because oh, it was cool. with your entire weight behind it. Plus, like, gravity. So, the one sword would do 12 in total. Okay, and... Is this just like a normal longsword, or does it have anything? Yeah, it's just a normal okay. longsword. It's 12 total? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, they would be magical if that's what you're looking for. Oh, they are. They are magical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah. Okay. Never mind. Then I guess that's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh. So yeah, you you are able to hang off of your sword as it's stuck in into his back. Um. So Gage, what I wanted to do was, as we were climbing down the ladder, when I saw this demon start attacking innocent civilians, I was going to try and, like, power slide down okay. the ladder to get down there faster. Um, uh, I don't know if you want me to roll. Uh, no, I, I'd say you're able to slide down without any problems. So it's not really oh, okay. a difficult thing, too difficult of a thing then, to do. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, just as soon as I hit the bottom, I'm charging right for okay. him to engage. Uh, so that'll be at the start of next initiative. If there's anything else anyone wants to do yeah. while climbing down the ladder, this will be in a surprise round. Anybody who hasn't already done something? Yeah. Uh, nothing I can fucking do, so. Yeah. He's too. He- yeah, let's just, it, let's like, I'm too yeah, let's just it's, get it. So can everyone roll initiative once more, please? Uh, before we do that, you you said uh, apparently I'm on the other side. Like, how far away is that from the demon? Uh, he would probably be 50. Like, the in, entire pit is 50 feet wide going north-south. So he uh, I I'd say you're probably... Well, I mean, once I hit the bottom of the ladder, I'm like 40-ish, 50-ish feet away then? Uh, you'd probably still be around 50 feet, yeah. Okay, cool. Just checking. I rolled an 18 plus, so 22 for initiative. Nice. Um, I rolled a, uh, a good old natural one. Um, yeah. but do do I still add like yeah. my um okay. initiative? Okay, then yeah, then it would be a three. Oh, seventeen! I think that's the highest oh. I've ever rolled. Rolled, rolled. Rolled. Well, not to put to your shame or anything, but I rolled an eighteen. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, so first is. The Hezra rolled a one for initiative as well. A <laughs> freaking idiot. But he has a plus three for dex, so he's nice. for you, you bitch. A- ah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is my, epic. Get on my level, bro. And and as of now, it would probably bro, be I bet about play Fortnite. twenty-five minutes since. You first started the cave-in. Oh boy, okay. We got 15 minutes. Because so it did take a while to get everyone Oof. rallied up, to get back to Borknork, and to get down all of these ladders. Oh, yeah. Just in case it wasn't explicitly stated, like we told all the prisoners on the second level yeah. to come follow us onto the bottom level. Okay. Yeah, so they would Just, be following yeah. you too. Yeah, okay. Cool. And as you're now down on this final level, mm. you do see that there are quite a few dead prisoners around. Like, just a quick look, you count probably around uh, probably like 40, maybe 50. Oh my god. And you see that there are probably around oh. uh, 400 others all around here. Alive. Yeah. Okay. What's so? Here's the plan: we get those forty bodies, put them all in a pile, and then Farron uses gust of wind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's ammo. Uh, so first will be Blaze. Uh, I mean, I'm fifty feet away. There's no other demons on this Don't. level, right? And you see that all of the prisoners have gone back to mining, even yeah. though they see you guys. Yikes. I hate, I hate throwing my daggers. That's a good sign. But uh, 
I'll run up 40 feet, so I'm only 10 feet away, and I'll whip my obsidian dagger and a dart. Okay. 18 to hit. That hits. It hits. Okay, and then the dart. The dart Woo! is 16 to hit. Uh, that is his armor class, so it bounces off. Okay, that's fine. I still hit with a dagger at least, so that's 1d6. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9 damage. 9 damage? Yeah. These are that's magical. That's the dagger, right? Yeah, it's my obsidian dagger. Okay. And then, uh, I guess that's, yeah, that's all I do then. Okay. You, you do have a bonus action, don't you? Yeah, I don't want to throw any more daggers. Fair. Okay. I want to hold on to those, so. Okay, so next will be uh, Lazarus. Okay. Not me. So would I be able to stab in my other longsword, the one that I didn't hit, and then kind of like plot the first one and stab it back into him to do more damage? Yeah, you can try. Okay. So I'm going to try stabbing the my other one in first, see if that works. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, and I rolled a 18. Yeah, that okay. hits. And then I'll kind of... I might not slide it like... Actually, no, I'm not going to slide it out. I'm just going to slide my other one down. I don't know if you want me to roll for that okay. or what you want me to do. Uh... So you're just, like, pushing it in? Yeah, I'm kind of, like, pushing it in, and then I'm kind of, like, pulling down to try and scrape it. Okay, uh, I'd say roll a strength okay. check. Uh, Just a check? Yeah, that'd be a seven. Yeah, seven? Yeah, this guy's armor is too str- I mean, this guy's skin is too strong to actually pull down further. Okay. So the first one would have done nine damage, and okay. then I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Slayer's Prey on him. It's pretty okay. much just Hunter's Mark. Yeah. And that's my turn. I'm still going to be hanging okay. on. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, now that you've just hit him like twice, he's starting to kind of swing along, swing around to try to get you off. Uh, so can you roll a dex save for me, please? Fuck's sakes, man. Yeah, see will be uh, 12. No? Uh, also roll a... Wait, did I say a strength save? Dex save. Dex save? Okay, and roll a strength save just to try to make sure that you keep a hold of your swords to pull them out with you. Yeah, I got a twenty-five on that. Yeah, uh, so you you bring out both swords as you fall, okay. and it wasn't a, a large, a long fall, so you you're you're fine. Okay, am I prone or am I? No, you're fine. Yep. Uh, and next is uh, Borknark. So he's Come gonna on, Borknark. He doesn't have any spell slots, so he's just going to cast a cantrip. Uh, he's going to cast Chill Touch. But is th- that's a is that a deck save or does Borkner go? I have it here. Chill Touch, ranged spell attack. Okay. He hits with a nice. twenty-one. Don't have my player's hand. It, it's a uh, it's one d eight necrotic, two d eight at fifth level. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, he hits him with twelve nice. damage worth. That's necrotic mm-hmm. damage, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, and it seems like he's taken all of the damage. Like a blast of just necrotic energy just hits him square in the chest, and it kind of spreads throughout his body a bit. Right. Doesn't do much. 
No, uh, it does cause it oh. quite a lot of pain, so it did full damage. Yeah. And next in initiative is Ryan. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give a big old battle cry and smack that ugly bastard in his face with my warhammer. Okay. That's a 23 to hit. That definitely hits. Hell yeah. Okay. D10. That's 6 plus 5 is 11 damage. 11 damage? Is yeah. your weapon magical in any way? Normally not, but at my last rest, I used my Blessing of the Forge uh-huh. to give me plus one and make it a magical weapon, so yes. Okay, so, sorry, what was that, all the damage again? Eleven total. Eleven? Okay. And Lazarus, I forgot to have your roll a constitution check on your last turn. Ah. Oh. But because I forgot, it'll be on your, on the next start of your turn. Okay. So we'll just ignore that one for now. And Ryan, were you... Uh, how far away were you when you first started your turn? I was as close as I could have gotten to him. So... Okay, uh, did you... Were you going down the same ladder as Lazarus? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so unfortunately, you were probably within 10 feet of him. So yeah, I'll have you roll okay. a constitution save and check. The same <sighs> Don't- Fuck me, Gil. Ah, uh, uh, 23. Yeah, you definitely save. Nice. And you are immune to the to his stench for 24 hours. Oh, sweet. Uh, is there anything else you want to do with your, your turn? Um, I, I forget, sorry. Can I bonus action attack with a dagger after attacking with my hammer? I think so. Okay. Uh, if so, can I'm... someone? Does anyone else know? Is that a thing? I think that's what we've been doing. Okay. Yeah. If if you're gonna let me do that, then I would like to. Yeah, I will. Um. And is that Dex, or can I use my strength for the melee attack since I'm not throwing it? It's finesse, so you can use strength. Cool. Yeah. Seventeen plus seven, so twenty-four to hit. Yeah, you hit. Wow, I'm rolling like fire right now. Okay. That's a one plus my strength is plus four. So, uh, five. Five? Five okay. damage. Not magical. Okay. Just a normal dagger. Yeah, so you punch the second dagger into him, and you're not able to get it in too far. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't do too much damage, but you are able to get blood with it. Okay. And your Hit with your hammer it was a good hit. It left a definite mark on him. Nice. And next will be Tal. Magic missile, that idiot. Okay. That's yeah, so a just roll for damage. Oh, that one's cocked. Oh, good. Uh, four, two, and two. Four, two, and two. Okay. And that is my last spell slot that doesn't cost sorcery points. Um, Wild magic. Yeah, I'm. Can yeah. I bonus action throw a dart? Along uh, with those? I think so. I think if if you can use a dagger as a bonus action, you can probably yeah. throw a dart as a bonus action. <clears throat> Fuck yeah, let's do that. Uh, uh twenty three. Yeah, that hits. This one's not magical. And it is four damage. Okay. And that's Tal's turn, and I'll figure out how to spend sorcery points. Okay. Uh, so with the dagger you just throw it through at him, it only goes in slightly into his skin, enough to draw blood, but not to stick in far or anything like that. Like a sliver for him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wild Magic Surge. Yep. Four. Yeah, you're good. And next is... The Hezrao. So it's going to... Lay down and die. (laughs) Uh, It's going to... 
Bite at Ryan and mm. claw twice at Lazarus. Since you you are the only two you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. right in the fray. Fair. So I'll do the bite first, yeah. which is a miss with a two plus nice. seven. Then with its first claw, it's an eight plus seven, so fifteen. Does that hit you, Ryan? No. Right? No. Or no, uh, it was biting at Ryan, so the yeah. bite miss okay. and the... My AC is 17. Okay. My AC is so also 17. Here comes the second claw. This one's a dirty 20. Ooh. Uh. So it will do... It does 23 damage. Jesus. Or oh, sorry, uh, no, sorry, I was using the round dice for the claw. Sorry, uh, disregard that. It does 10 damage. Still not good. Better. It's claw. <laughs> and that is his turn, so. he. So next is Aelrindal. I'm back, baby. <laughs> Why were you? Uh, back from the dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Poor joke. Uh, great attack. So, uh, <laughs> um, so I have a quick question. So, uh, we if we so we can use daggers as a bonus attack, then, right? Yep. Yeah. So, am I able to equip my long sword in one hand and my dagger in my other? Yep. Yeah. Great, so as I'm going to do that. As long as huh? you're uh, you, like, using one hand for attacks for the long sword. Yeah, so that's, just, my, yeah, that's just a D8. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do that and equip my dagger in my other hand, and I'm going to attack this mofo. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to smack him. So that's... Wait, are you in range? Uh, well... Well, we came down the ladder, right? So how far was he from the... Uh, yeah, I which we ladder were... did you go down? The one with the blaze went down? Yeah, I was with blaze and... and yeah, um, so feet away. you are 50 feet away. Oh, okay, fine. I move 30 feet then. If I'm fucked, you're coming down with me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I guess... Uh, I You know what? I guess I'm going to shoot my bow first since I'm that far away. Okay. So, never mind about the the dagger for now. That's a sixteen plus five, so yeah, enough. It is. Yep. Uh, that's seven piercing damage. Seven? Okay. Yes. And it's just a normal bow or arrow, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just the yeah. I just I aim for his calf because that that would hurt. It hit, it hits his calf, but the way he reacts is kind of how you would react to getting a sliver. Um, oh. crying. <laughs> <laughs> Going home. <laughs> Asking the I team mean, to call my mom. <laughs> when I got a sliver at work, I tried to leave. Didn't work. <laughs> uh, okay. Any bonus actions or anything? Um. No, I'm okay. Okay, so we're back. Wait, uh, I guess. Oh. No, go ahead. I guess I can. I can attack a, a second. I can attack twice, right? Hell yep. yeah! Yeah, extra attack, baby. Fighters, Hell yeah! Mate. So, uh, I equip another arrow into my bow, and I'm going to shoot them. Don't knock it till you try it. Uh. How's the 10 working for you? Works for me, but not for the Hezreo. Wow, that was funny. That would hit Gage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gage's armor class is like an 8, I'd say. Uh, so yeah, so that misses by a fair amount. And then it is to the top of the order with Blaze. Uh, so I'm still... Oh, excuse me. I'm still 10 feet away now because I ran up 40 feet, right? Yeah, so I'll have you roll a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, fuck. Okay. DC of 14. 
Oh, dope. I I literally rolled a 14, so I, I fail, or? No, that's a save because defender wins. Right, okay. Uh, so am I good? Yeah, and you are immune to the hazard house stench for 24 hours. <sighs> Who knows how long this fight will last, though, am I right? All right. Uh, I guess I'll run up the rest of the 10 feet and I'll stab him with my diamond dagger three times. Okay. No, no, no. I'm going to cat's claws. I haven't done that in a while. I'm going to cat's claws, diamond dagger, and then just diamond dagger twice, cat's claws once. Yeah. yeah. Natural one on uh, the first dam- uh, diamond dagger. Uh, oh, dope. Loving it. Uh, 11 on the second diamond dagger. And 17 on my cat's claws. Yeah, so the 17 hits. So you just cannot get into his skin with this dagger. That is a whopping 6 damage. Nice, dude. Nice. But that counts as magical, right? Yeah, all my unarmed strikes are magical. Fucking monk. Man, I need to play a monk. And we're pretty badass. Uh, and I'm going to use the... Uh, I guess I can't. No, nah, I'll stay there then. But I'm right up in melee, so. Okay. Uh, so next will be Lazarus. Okay. <clears throat> uh, do you guys think I should use... Uh, Hunter's Sense to find out its immunities, resistance, and vulnerabilities. It wouldn't hurt. Yeah, that might be good for me. That's my full action, though. Yeah, I guess maybe judge it based on how rough it's looking. If it's close to death already, maybe not worth it. Before you do that, can you roll a constitution saving throw, please? No gauge. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. I got a nine. Nine? Okay, so you are poisoned due to this Hazrao's Dench. And because of that, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability Uh, checks. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to use my action to use Hunter Sense. Uh, I learn his immunities, resistances, and vulnerabilities. Uh... And, yeah, if it's hidden from divination, yeah, I pretty much get, I pretty much learn what it's vulnerable to, or not vulnerable to. Okay, so, you know that he is resistant to cold, fire, light, cold, fire, and lightning damage, and bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks, and he is immune to poison, and immune to the condition of poisoned. Okay. Is there anything else you got? No. From that? Okay. I, I'll relay that to uh, my team. And okay. So, what were the resistances again? It was cold, fire, lightning, and bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. And he is immune to poison and the poisoned condition. So, my spells, since they're all magical, yeah. he's not resistant to any of them? He is, Except for poison stuff. He's resistant if it's cold fire or lightning damage. Just if you're using any non-magical from, like, from, weapons, melee weapons. Yeah. Okay. And I guess that's my turn. Wait. Does dodge count as an action or a bonus action? Uh, let me uh, see. Dodges. Unless you're a rogue, it's a it's an action. Yeah. Because as a rogue, you can take cunning action, which lets you do the dodge, hide, or dash. Yeah, or disengage. Or disengage. Okay. Actually, dodge Actually, might be a reaction then. Yeah. Uh, I don't no. think so. Let me, I'll look at if it was a reaction, I then you could just dodge every single turn. Yeah. 
Well, I think it doesn't matter what class yeah. you are. I think you can disgage yeah. anytime. <laughs> Dodge is an action. Yeah. It just costs an action, though, to disengage if you're not a rogue. Yeah, Tony, I well, agree. I, mean, I no, like, like to disgage, like, constantly. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, what you're yeah. saying. Good one, Tony. Good one. Yeah. I'll add, I'll add yeah, a laugh track this time. <laughs> okay, sweet. I always deserve laugh yeah. tracks after what I say. Yeah, so I guess that's my full turn. Okay. But monks have patient defense. Next is Borknork. If we have key, <laughs> he's going to use chill, chill Touch again. He just got a nat 20. Hey. Borknork. He's pulling his weight. Borknork. That should be our chant to cheer him on. Bork, bork, bork. <laughs> bork, 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 bork. So he bork, does bork. 20 damage to this guy. Oh. Holy fuck, Bork. He just did more than the rest of us. Godspeed, man. Yeah, just you fucking wait, okay? And the Hazra is starting to seem a bit more damaged now. As you see the necrotic energy that has just entered his body. Uh, next is Ryan. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just gonna use my attack action to hit him with my battle hammer with my with both hands and not use my dagger this time. So just gonna make a melee attack against him. Okay. That's a six, 17 to hit. Yeah, 17 hits. Sweet. Wow, this is like the first time I've gone this long without missing an attack. That's not a d10. Five plus five, 10 damage total. Yeah, so you hammer on him and he kind of stumbles back a bit from the hard blow you just gave him. Cool. And I'm like, I'm right in his face. Okay. Just not giving him an inch. Okay, just breathing in that stench. Yeah, just <laughs> mother's milk, baby. <laughs> uh, any bonus actions? Uh, nope. Okay. Nothing I can do, baby. Okay. So next is Cal. Um, Cal's gonna spend two sorcery points. And cast Chromatic Orb. Um, I think... So, since this is magical, they're not resistant to... By elemental damage, right? It would be, yes. Damn it. Okay. Then I'll do Chill Touch, because that changes the plan. And I won't spend those points yet. Um, so that's a range spell attack. That's an 18. Yeah, that hits. Okay. And my D8 is here. That's three damage. Okay. So you're just piling more and more uh, necrotic damage and magic into a system after Bork Norka has done it a couple times. Yeah, fuck this guy. Uh, any bonus actions? Um, I don't think there's much I can do in the way of okay. that. Yeah, so nope, then, we're good. Okay. Okay. So next is the Hezro, and so Lazarus, Ryan, and Aelrindel are all in the in his space, right? Yeah. Okay. So is uh so is Blaze oh, Bla though. Yeah, Blaze is right? too. Uh he will attack uh Ryan and yeah. uh Ail or wait, Ailendal, did you did you do damage to the Sassern? Uh to like the enemy? To that dude? Yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I guess, yeah, who else would I do it to? Uh, yeah, I did. I did, like, seven piercing damage or something. Okay. 
You did psychological damage to me. So funny. Shit. So he's going to try to fight Ryan again, and then claw yeah. twice at Is he close Taylor enough Hill. to me? I was like 20 feet away uh, when I moved, because he was 50 feet, so I moved 30. So he's 50. 20 feet away, just okay. so you know. Uh, yeah, he's not within Good. range then. He could move, but he, it's a lazy <laughs> fight. Well, <laughs> He, yeah, plus he'd get like three attacks of opportunity. Yeah, good point. Yeah, so he's not going to move. Uh, he's just going to attack Ryan with its bite and then uh, blaze with his claws. Don't bring so it the on. bite is first. That is a 16 plus 7, Ooh. so 23. Yeah. I'll let that I'm one hit. Slide. Yeah. So that is nine damage. Or, uh, no, that's just eight damage. Okay. I rolled like shit that time. Then it's gonna do its claw attack. Can I, oh. just for flavor, like, you know, lean in and spit in his eye or something? Uh, it's eye. Well, yeah, as he bites you, you can, yeah. Yeah. And then the claw attacks are a 18 and a 23. Both or 24, hits. actually. Okay. Okay, both hit. So the first claw attack is 9 plus 4, so 13 damage. And the second one is 11 damage. That's what, 24? Total? What kind of damage? Uh, slashing. Cool, cool, cool. Holy shit. How you looking, Blaze? I have four hit points. <laughs> How's this guy looking? Uh, not good. Thank god. And next, it's back up to you, Blaze. Yo, first thing I'm gonna do is drink hey, a wait. superior whoa, health potion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he just he just attacked, right? What? So now it should yeah. be my turn. Oh yeah, oh, yeah sorry, Alan Ralph. Sorry, totally <laughs> forgot about you. All good. I was just like <laughs> Alright, Tony, make your rolls. I was just heard you say now we go back to the top and I was like, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Kay. my bad. So Yeah, Tony's not at the top. What are you talking about? I'm gonna uh equip my long sword run the 20 feet up to him and give him a little taste of something, something. <laughs> okay, and you're 10 feet... Wait, are, I thought you said you were uh, 10 feet away. I was 20 feet, feet away. away. 20? Yeah, because okay. la last time you said I was 50, so I moved my full 30, and that left me with 20. So then... Oh, yeah. yeah I so see. now yeah. I move the yeah. 20 feet, and I'm going to attack with my longsword. Okay. Uh, that's an 18. Yes, sir. 18? Yeah, that definitely hits. All right. So that's uh, nine slashing. And, oh, just one sec. Uh, and two necrotic. Okay. Okay, so after that hit, he's looking and pretty bad. I'm going to swing my sword back around, baby, and hit him again. That That's a thirteen, sorry. Thirteen? Uh thirteen does not hit. Well it is what it is, you know. Actually, um just wait. Cause I know I'm going to use one of my superior superiority die and use uh, which one is it? I know one of these does something good. Yeah, so if I, uh, I use one of my die, I can add it to my attack roll and then uh, have it, you know, so, 
Okay. And that's just one of that's just a D eight. So I had a thirteen. <laughs> now it's a fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that unfortunately still Fucking... does not hit. Well, I'm not gonna waste another one, so Okay. Uh, any bonus actions or anything like uh, that? I'm just gonna keep my sword up and and be ready. Okay. So we're back up at the top of the order with Blaze. Okay. Yeah. While he was doing that, I rolled for my superior health potion, which I'm gonna use my bonus action to drink. So I regained thirty hit points. Okay. Wow. Nice. And then uh, I'm going to attack him twice with my diamond dagger. Okay. Okay, so that's 25 for the first one, and 12 for the second one. The 25 hits. Cool. That is uh, 10 points of piercing damage. Okay, so uh, how are you doing this? Oh, he's dead? Fuck, yes. Uh, Simple and clean. (laughs) Uh, you shut your mouth, Clayton. What? Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just jump up and I like stab him straight in his eye, and then I just yank back out and fall down to my feet and let him crumple in front okay. of me. Fuck yeah! yeah Got yeah, his ass. Yeah. Once again, <laughs> I have won. Okay, buddy. <laughs> That's so, okay. It'll be a short victory. We're all going to die soon. So you've killed yeah. the Hazrao, and that is where we leave off on this episode of A oh, Deal with Demons. No way. Oh, it's been an hour. Oh my god. Yes way. Yes way. <laughs> <laughs>